Hi guys, we're in Cape Town, South Africa. This is Devil's Peak Observatory. Observatory is just below this mountain peak. And uh, I'm here to show you hot property in Cape Town. A new property that I've just listed. It comes with a garage. It's new for sale on the market and it has two separate entrance flats this is the one which you can enter from this porch or stoop in the front and then there's another on the other side of the property there are some big trees here a uh, big tree on the street there's also a yellowwood tree big yellowwood tree in your front garden this is what the neighborhood looks like the YMCA is at the end some neighbors properties the railway line is also at the end of that street and this is Perth Road I'm gonna show you the separate entrance of the other flat it's all set up for occupation there were tenants in here uh, they moved out in the beginning of this month. There's a solid wrought iron gate by the entrance. We're gonna look and see what it looks like on the inside. There's a small indigenous low maintenance garden here. The same on this side. A few steps up. This is the entrance to the main house. These are all original tiles dating from the previous century when this house was built. Uh, we're now first, the same year, we're first going to have a look at the flat, which has its own entrance. The person will come in here. And this flat is a one bedroom flat consists of wood floors, a lounge area, open plan to a kitchen. This is what you have here. The electricity seems to have all been attended to with new electricity distribution boards, double washing up basins here. And then this flat has um, uh, only one bedroom. The other flat is also a smaller flat, also with one bedroom. This is built in cupboards. The flat is en suite, so we have a bathroom over here, uh, which consists of a water closet, hand basin, and a shower with an extractor. So, the ideal situation here is if you're a single or a couple, a working couple, or work from home rather, then uh, this flat and also the other one could be ideal as an income producer to help you settle your mortgage if you wish. It could also be a granny flat. Um, just to show you here by the entrance, this is a uh, drywall. It used to be open uh, before, but now that drywall ensures that you can turn that into a bedroom. It was turned into a bedroom. Look at this marble fireplace. Most impressive. Typical observatory style. Beautiful old fireplaces. And wood floors makes it all cozy in winter. And cool in summer. Look at the steel pressed ceilings. It's a chandelier. This particular bedroom, which is used as a main bedroom also, as an air conditioner. Uh, the property is obviously alarmed also. Have to be alarmed these days everywhere. Uh, this is a second bedroom with loads of sunlight coming in. There are no built-in cupboards here, although you may be able to negotiate that antique cupboard from the owner who has, uh, is working uh, overseas for the United Nations, I think. Um, look at the pressed ceilings here in the lounge also. 
with a uh, chandelier. It's also got a beautiful old fireplace here with a contraption on the top here that doesn't really fit in with the style of the house. Should be quite easy to get rid of that. It's what it looks like outside of the lounge. We're going to what is now the third bedroom in the main house. It has a skylight. It's got loads of built-in cupboards. It looks out onto the passage with the neighbors. Right, three bedrooms in the main house. The kitchen has got uh, granite tops. It's a modern new kitchen with an extractor. The island has got loads of extra storage. It also has uh, double washing up basins. And there's a seating arrangement on this side here. As you can see, it's like a kind of a bar if you want to eat in here. Lots of built-in cupboards. This is the bathroom of the main house, the family bathroom, consisting of a shower. You can see a bath, water closet, and a basin. And there are some heater lights here, so that if you are, for your, you know, it heats you up when you're out of the bath. And then from the kitchen, we're going out to the courtyard at the back. It's all secure and private. It's got some outside alarm beams also. Here's a little storeroom. Get all your, uh, maybe suitcases and things out of the way. There's a garage here with a remote controlled access. You can actually park two cars here if you really want to. That will be in tandem. And then the other separate entrance is over here. Um, you have to walk along the side of the house to come in. There's a washing line here. And you will be entering, or the other person would be staying here. It's all under cover on the other side of this uh, gate here. So you've got also your own little uh, outside area where you can feel all private. And then there's, this is a small flat uh, glass doors for extra light. Consists of a base hand basin, there's a fridge, washing machine, microwave, there is again a new electricity distribution board as you can see here it's meant for a single person so there's your sleeping area simple cupboard and this also comes with a water closet and basin and a shower so if you want to know more uh, Werner I'm your man I'm your estate agent uh, you can just find me on hotpropertyincapetown.com where there is a floor plan of this property and much more details. I look forward to hearing from you. Thank you for watching. Goodbye.